When Allah who has given you your life, your food, your drink, your clothing, your sight, your smell, your health, your wealth, everything tells you just pray five times a day. How can we say, ah, you know what, it's a bit cold at the moment. It's difficult to make wudu for Salatul Fajr. So I think I'll give it to Miss as, I, as it is. I heard Allah is Ghafoor, Rahim and most merciful. It's okay. He'll understand that it's cold. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Now we're using the mercy of Allah to disobey Allah. That's not on, not at all on. You cannot use the fact that Allah is merciful to say, therefore I'm going to sin or I'm not going to fulfill obligations because he will understand. May Allah strengthen us. You want to show gratitude. You want to give thanks. Wallahi, it starts off by fulfilling the command of Allah. Allah has asked you to dress in a specific way. You dress in a nice way, neat way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked you to fast, for example, in Ramadan. He's asked you the five daily prayers. He's asked you to abstain from haram food, etc. But more importantly, remember, I'm talking of fulfilling the obligations. That's number one. Number two is to stay away from the prohibitions. And whenever you have faulted because you're a human being, to seek the forgiveness of Allah is also showing gratitude to Allah. I show gratitude by fulfilling the command of Allah. I show gratitude by abstaining from the prohibitions that Allah has declared. And I show gratitude by seeking forgiveness wherever I have faulted because I'm a human being. Then I show gratitude by saying, Oh Allah, thanks is all to you. Laka alhamdu wa laka shukru ya wajidu jalla jalal. To you belongs all praise, to you belongs all thanks. O oh, you who created from nothing, you are the greatest. That is gratitude. Then my adhkar come into place. I need to engage in dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah, the continuous remembrance of Allah. I need to make sure I read the Quran because that is part of dhikr. Remember that. You pick up the Quran and read it, recite it in a melodious tone. You smile, I'm giving gratitude to Allah. That's how you show gratitude to Allah. Then watch what Allah does to you. Number one, he tells you that I will give your heart its contentment. So that's the message I have today. My brothers, my sisters, a lot is going wrong. Praise Allah. Thank him. When you thank him, he will give you increase in goodness and he will decrease your woes. He will decrease the anxiety. He will decrease the stress that you have when you leave things in his hands. Do your best according to the capacity given to you by Allah. Praise him. Thank him. Fulfill the command. Stay away from prohibitions. Show gratitude to Allah. Seek forgiveness where you've gone wrong because you're a human. You're bound to go wrong at times. And then you see how Allah will open your doors one after the other. And then you'll start floating into a new territory where you are now into the Quran. You're now into the adhkar. You're now into the lessons. You now go to the masjid. You're now connected to good things and life shall continue.